For you, beautiful? Ugh, oh, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. <laughs> hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Dave the Diver. Now, this is different from games that I usually play, but I want a break from the games that I usually play. I want to play something chill, and this game has just so many good reviews that I'm very curious to check it out right now and just experience it with you all, even for a little bit. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Oh, yeah, this is definitely relaxing. Here we go. Oh, yeah, on that beach. I've never seen one of those things in my entire life. Like, every time I've been to the beach, I've never seen one of those things. But that's how I'm trying to be. Toesies out in the wind. Legs open, all three of them. And just enjoying the beachy air, just smelling it. Oh, oh yeah, that's a me gusta. Got Grandpapa calling, I think. That's me. Oh yeah, sushi, I'm down. Love me some sushi. Wasabi, I can do without. Maybe some soy sauce and some lemon. That's a great mix. That's a secret Filipino mix right there. Some lemon and soy sauce, woo! Maybe some sriracha, woo -hoo! But the wasabi, I can do without the wasabi. But here we go, Dave the Diver. I guess I'm flying first class on that ass. Nope, coach. Okay, put me in, coach. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means, this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Huh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue, a sushi bar by the blue hole. So I'm assuming that I have to go catch the sushi for the day, but let's go dive in the water. Nice form! <laughs> All right, how about try stretching out a bit? Let's do that like this is the first time I ever played a game in my life. Look at this. Bop! You oh, wow. suck. I thought I was big dick in it. Let's go! All right, so we got a sea goldie. Here you go. Bro, I suck. I am definitely not Dave the Diver. I'm Jay the Asshole. Come on. Get that ass over here. I got a cardinal. And the last but not the least. Oh! I grabbed the tiniest fish in the sea. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. That soft fish meat with oily rice? Oh, man. That's just the best. <laughs> well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum! I'm already craving it. <laughs> I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha ha ha. What's so funny, huh? The fuck is so funny? So I have to catch all the sushi that's going to be served at the restaurant there. And that's what makes this sushi restaurant so unique is that the fish can't be caught anywhere else but the blue hole. Hey, Bancho, are we ready to open? As you can see, it's just in time. Oh, it's already finished. This is what I look like without the diving suit. Put that shit back on, my boy. You? Ah, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, 
just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. He basically said the sushi that this guy eats is so mid that he don't even want to look at him. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer? My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. What? I don't think we're gonna be alive to do that. TIDAL WAVE! Nah, imagine though. <laughs> imagine it really was though. Bro, if this is a volcanic eruption... Oh wait. Oops. An earthquake? Ah. Oh. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Huh? Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible foods with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay, so let me get this straight. Every single day, the ecosystem of the fish changes. So I could just randomly come upon like some rare magical fish, right? At least that's what I'm getting for this. All right, let's kill Flounder real quick. Here you go, buddy. Oh, you're not going to be in Little Mermaid too. We got a yellow tank. Let's get you. I found Nemo, everybody. We got a clownfish. It really was. Let me see what we have deeper down here. Look, these big kahunas. Get your ass over here. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Now I got you. Let me get your brother. Hold on. Let me get your brother. Fuck this. I'm not letting you go. I have too much pride. Ah! Come on, get that ass over here! Come on! We have a red tooth trigger fish. Don't you want to be with your family? I already got your sister. Time to join. So we have two trigger fish. Let me see what's down here. Wait, what's this? New content, escape pod. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first as the calling process takes some time. Oh, cool. There's a treasure chest down here. We got a shock bang stick, a stick type weapon that releases a powerful electric discharge. Sure. How do I equip that? Is it equipped? It is not equipped. What the hell? Oh, it's a thing that I can slap. Okay. Oh, die. I got it. I have a long fin bat fish. Are these actual real fish? Like all my fish experts, are those real things? Or is this shit made up? Wait, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to like weird depths. Let me get this thing. It kind of looks attractive. I kind of want to put it in the sushi restaurant. Get over here, get over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom! Come on, buddy. Yeah. How many did we get? Oh, I already got seven. Okay. Let me actually get out of here. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> my, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? How are the preparations coming along? Huh, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I. I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. All right, let's check the ingredients. Here, you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Eat to close the ingredients window. So I have all these fish in my inventory right here, but I don't know what to do with all that ass. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items in the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menus before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Okay, let me add um, 
Whoops. Hold on, hold on. Let me take a look at this. I have no idea what's happening. All right, that probably wasn't hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. All right, let me add this, sea goldies, boom. And then let me add a little bit of the long fin batfish. That sounds exotic. How long are you going to stand there talking? Oh. Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Oh, huh, have you perhaps poured green tea before? Oh. No, only soft drinks, I think. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you how. Go over to Cobra. All right, Cobra, if that is your real name. Sometimes customers will order drinks. S to pour green tea just the right amounts. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Come on. Come on, that's perfect. I'm telling you, I'm a green tea connoisseur. This is what I do. Customers who drink green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Well, you better pay me the best because that shit was perfect. <laughs> As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Uh, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Yeah, my ass. Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? What do you want? You want clownfish sushi? All right, how do we do this? Wait until the cooking is done. Oh, my bad. Come over to me where I am and take this food. Got it? You can dash when serving food. You shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. So all we have to do is bring the sushi over to him. That's easy. We don't actually have to make the sushi. Hello? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Uh, what do I do with all this sushi? Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Banjo Sushi never refuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Hold down Q to discard the food. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kinda nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Watch this, everybody. I'm about to pour this to perfection. I'm just gonna stop right now. Look, I took my hands off. Perfect. You see how these hands weren't even on there? I'm hands free, baby. All right, look at this, look at this, look at this. Green tea master, green tea master, green tea master. Oh shit, I forgot about the hungry people. Move it, mister. Okay, clownfish, coming from a guy who went to clown school. Here is, um, oh my goodness, this dude's out of breath. Really? I'm out of patience, man. I'm out of fucks to give. I have to give the sushi all the way over to that person. I'm already huffing and puffing, man. Hold on, lady. I'll give you some. I got you, just hold on. I need to see a chiropractor after this. My man is hunched over. And let me put these away. There you go. And watch this perfection. The green tea master. That's what they call me. Jay, the green tea master Perez. It's a gift, really. It's a gift. Okay, hold on. I got you. Hurry up, man. Bancho, do your thing. What is this? You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. What? How do I do that? Oh, shit. That's how you grind? I'm on my grind, bro. Okay, let's give you... Actually, let's give it to the girl first. Ladies first. And then we'll give you some table for Hamana. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Oh, shit. The clownfish guy is mad. Wait. Hold on. No. It's right here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bancho. Do not fire me. I didn't even ask for this job, but please do not fire me. We got a 4.4 stars. I'll take it. I'll take it. Like, coming from somebody who used to get an F plus in school, I'll take a 4.4. That's like a A plus, right? That's like an A. That's an A, yeah. Wow. That's the highest grade I've ever gotten. Phew. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. Hee <laughs> hee. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. You want a toast, everybody? 
Everybody grab their drinks. Doesn't matter what it is. I want to say that I never thought I would be in this position. Damn, already? What happened? Uh oh. That's my next objective. Octopus sushi. It's a little chewy, but I am going to grab the biggest harpoon. I'm gonna shoot that bitch right there. Boom! In that leg? I mean, he has seven more, right? He'll be all right. Hopefully those weren't my friends because they are not going to be in Dave the Diver too. Who's that? Is that the money calling? Huh. Are you the man who's been diving around here? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. Oh yeah, I believe you, the local graduate school. Okay, that, that sounds legit. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Okay, I'm on observation duty. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Huh. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Uh, re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying. You could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Red ecological... I can't even speak, bro. You can use your phone to access various types of content, check your current missions, and more. What, this dude got a Twitter or something? Let me see if this dude's on the Twitter, bro. If he has a Tiki Talk. Nothing. It's just a bunch of other things. Let me see who he's been calling. Cobra and Bancho. This dude got no game. He's talking to nobody. Okay, so I need to acquire two agars and two red starfish. I've never seen any of those. I've only seen a brown starfish before. And I need to get the stuff for Bancho Sushi, so... Let me try to get, like, the most quality fish that I can. But I think that I can't dive super low. Or else the pressure is just gonna crumble me. So let me see over here. I like that these things suck in once I get close. What are those things? Like sea urchins or something? I know nothing about water life. Nothing. Underwater scooter. So yeah, the deeper I go... Oh, I, I do have a scooter already. That's cool. Okay, let me get this red fish. I think this is a uh, agar. That looked like an agar if I've ever seen one. Oh crap! Look at this dude. Come on, man. That's a fish with some DSLs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need that. I need that. I can't hook onto it. This bitch got so much ass. Okay, hold on. I should have killed this thing already. There's like at least four holes in this fish. Come on, man. Uh. All right, I'm gonna kill you. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. How do I kill this thing? I'm just gonna keep stabbing this fish. I apologize, everybody. All my fish lovers out there. I need this. I got a green hump head parrot fish. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? I'm about to be the underwater John Wick. A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Is that Keanu Reeves? Duff? What does this dude know about guns? Wow, Cobra. It's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? This dude call me a goofy looking- This dude call me a goofy looking guy? Sorry. That wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> and now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Huh. Season 2 of Strastella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright. I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when bought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Huh, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. 
Huh. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this Master Duff. I'm not sure why I need to have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. I don't like that I don't have that much oxygen. But I'm just going to keep it in mind. Because apparently I only have like 3 minutes of oxygen. I thought I was a professional diver. Like I should at least have 20 minutes of oxygen. I need one rope, one iron, agar, starfish, and I need some fishes. Wait, that's the starfish, right? That thing? Hold on, let me slash and gash on that ass. Oh, wait, no, I don't have to do that. My bad. I just have a killer mindset. Like, I give off serial killer vibes. Bop. Yeah, I think I should start off by just getting the little fish. I'm not ready for the big leagues yet. One, two, three. Boom! Got him. Another sea goldie. I need the scrap iron and the rope, though. Because this is a no bueno for me. Oh, I see the rope. Hold on. Right here. And then, what is that? Is that air? <gasps> I think that's more oxygen. What is that? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, there's something like poking his head out. Come here, bitch. Uh, bro, why can't I do it? This dude giving me that look. Okay, you know what? Go back in your hole. Let me get this scrap iron. There you go. And then I'm just going to get this treasure chest and then I'll go back up. Because... Actually, no. Oxygen capsule. A portable oxygen capsule that refills oxygen upon use. Okay. I'm just gonna save that for now. And let me just keep collecting fish. What? How come it's not latching on? Does anybody know? What is going on? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, long fin batfish. Mine now, is that shrimp? That's shrimp, that's gotta be shrimp. Hold on, let me get that. Oh! Uh! Another one of you. I don't think that I can actually use my harpoon. Let me just do this. That's not a thing? Bro, that's the thingiest thing that I've ever seen. I'm just having fun shooting these fish. That doesn't make me a bad person, does it? Like, I'm over here just, like, stabbing these fish through the heart. If anybody that's part of PETA is watching this, hey, it is what it is. Like, sushi is OP. It's top-tier food, okay? It makes me happy, so that means that these fish live good lives, all right? Please be something good. <gasps> a sword? A cheap Japanese sword. Cheap? Man, this game's mom's cheap. I'm kidding. This game's dope. But I have a sword, though. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. How you doing, baby? Uh! Wait, hold on. That's awkward. I'm just going to go up, everybody. I have way too many items. I have way too many items. Can I call the escape pod? Let me see. Because there's no way I'm going to make it to the surface. Yes. Okay, I'm learning. Jay is learning, everybody. So, I am a noob no longer. So, anytime I just want to leave... I just gotta swim to that escape pod. I don't actually have to go to the surface. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. This guy's a sick fuck. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. That really looks like a basic bitch. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Duff's Weapon Shop is now downloaded. And I collected all the materials. Make it for me one time. Ah, man. Come on, man. I couldn't awkwardly dance to that. Well, we have a new basic underwater rifle. I'm about to collect some more materials okay. just so I can see that again. <laughs> With a neat explanation like that. Even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, the master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. All right, so we just created our first gun. Baby got her first gun. So all we have to do is keep collecting materials. And for some reason, random weapon chests will spawn underwater. 
but Bancho needs me. So to Bancho we go! So let me check the ingredients that I caught for the day. We have 10 clownfish and we have comber. Who the fuck is comber? I don't remember getting you. See Goldie, pyramid butter, fly fish. Let me see this though. Like this hump head, like that sounds awesome. The largest fish that lives in coral reefs grows up to 150 centimeters long and can weigh more than 75 kilograms. With its powerful beak like mouth, it breaks apart and eats coral. I'm not going to sell that. I actually want to update this menu real quick. Let me do the the um the green hump head one. Cause that thing looks dope. Yeah, let's put that there. And then let's add some of you, some comer. That looked like eel. That's one of my favorite sushis to eat. Salmon's my all-time favorite. Like salmon sashimi without the rice. Ooh, ooh, now you're speaking my language. Okay, uh, let me see. What's the price? The price, ooh, that one's actually pretty expensive. Let me do that. And bronzer higher? Your mom's bronzer higher. I think I'm good, right? So let me open Bancho Sushi, and I'm not going to leave any customer hungry or horny. So our first customer would like one of those, the hump head. I told you, it's a popular choice. Watch the skills that pay the bills, everybody. Bam. Got him. That is so perfect. My goodness. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Why do you have to be all the way at the end? Like, I know the view is nice over there, but, like, give me a break. It's my second day on the job. Clownfish coming right up. There you go. And we have a little bit of the thing that looks like a wannabe eel. It's the real deal. I don't even know what that is. But enjoy it. One time with the wasabi too. The wasabi. Let me clean this up. There you go. That person wants sushi rolls. Do I even have that on the menu? Okay, sushi rolls are just like cucumber and rice, right? I think so. But here we go. There are no more items on the menu. So what do I do? I need to manage that. So we need to swap it. Um, should I do auto swap? Let me do auto supply. Right? Did I do that? I don't think I did it. Um, hold on. Add ingredients. There you go. Add ingredients to that. I'm learning, everybody. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad. I should have just, like, maxed out the, the numbers. So I didn't run out of items. I'm learning, everybody. This is my first day on the job. Well, technically second, but first video on the job. And let me beat the Holy Ghost out of this wasabi real quick. I did not know you do it like that. That is very interesting. And she's all the way over there. Like, come on. I'm not going all the way over there until I get the sushi in my hands. Because there's no point. Wasting all that stamina. Wasting all these freaking sweat on my boobs. And you want the same thing. Hump head is like the most popular choice. I wonder how this fish tastes. Probably tastes like heaven. Everybody's getting it. I want to try it real bad. Like, I'm about to go to the blue hole. And then I'm going to eat sushi. You've collected 100 gold! Great job! This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. They will. And I am going to repair while I'm on the job. And we did good, everybody. Can we clap it up for me one time? That was actually a perfect second day. I don't think that we missed anything. 4.2? Wait, we went down point two? Por qué? What do you mean? I did my best. I served up perfect green teas. I was beating wasabi like a drum. I gave everybody hump head sushi. It's the biggest fish in the blue hole. Like, are you kidding me right now? How did we go down point two stars? Hey, are you Dave by any chance? Yeah? What is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? <laughs> I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you all about them? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. There's actually an ancient civilization in the Blue Hole. Like, this is a sick joke, right? They worshipped fish and had gills allow them to live underwater. They lived in the depths allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions. Why is it automatically going on? But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought... Bro, I'm not even pressing anything, I promise you all. And this text is just going automatically. That's all about there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find. One that could turn the whole academic world upside down. 
an ancient civilization under the sea? You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that this is from no known civilization. It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Huh, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah. <laughs> what? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. I kind of feel bad for Dave. Everybody's just like making him do things without his permission. And he looks completely uncomfortable if I do say so myself. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Banjo Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. Um, I suppose you have a point. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll help. <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. So this is how we upgrade our character and like the weapons and stuff. I like it. It's actually very creative. The iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. Now then, let me tell you about how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Okay, there we go. So we have to do level two diving suit. How much do I have? I have 12 coins in the world, but he upgraded it for free, so good. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. All right, no more talking, everybody. Let's go down and see if we can find that civilization. So we have to go about 70 meters deep. This is not even 10 meters yet. So we just passed 10 meters. That's actually crazy. But this is the gun. So if I shoot them with the gun, are they instantly dead? Like, what is this? This thing looked like it got a titty on its head. Oh! Oops. Bitch! Come on. Did we get him? Oh! Oh, fried egg jellyfish? What? There's a fried egg on the top of his head? How? How's that even possible? Like, did a chicken shit on him or something? Like, make it make sense? Let me get this thing, though. Let me get that gun. Tranquilizer harpoon tip. Just a tip? Okay. So I need to go 70 meters deep, bro. We're only 37. Okay, let me actually get whatever this is. Some agar. Yeah, that's what I need for that lady, Ellie. All right, last of us ass. So let me go down and finish that quest before I do anything else. Cause I'm kind of curious about that civilization. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, oh, oh! Bro, leave! Leave me alone! You gotta bought that life! Holy crap! I'm gonna die, aren't I? We are 60 meters deep. So 10 more. And I'm actually about to run out of oxygen. This is not good. What is that? A hey, some of that. Oh Dave, I think that's the one! Come back to the boat safely, I'll be waiting. Oh shit, you're not gonna help me! Whoa. I was gonna make a pun with this big eye. But, um, I don't see the point. I'm so sorry, everybody. That's the giant octopus. I'm definitely chopping that shit up and serving it at the sushi bar. Because you know how much money that would make? What was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat right away. I have to hurry up. No! Where is the pod capsule escape thing? Please. The oxygen isn't going down as fast. Hold on. What is that pot? Somebody left their little crock pot over here. I thought fish were nice things. Why are they so freaking evil? I'm about to shoot these bitches in the face, I promise you. So, if you ascend, the oxygen goes down a little bit slower. And then when you descend, it's actually going down a lot faster. And then also when you accelerate. So, that's actually interesting to know. Hey, Ellie. Huh, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. All right, this should do for now. 
I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. <laughs> she wants us to call her later. She gave us some soy sauce and some olive oil? The fuck? Man, I thought she was gonna give us like a gun, maybe some cash. She gave me some soy sauce, bro. I can get free soy sauce packets from Panda oh, yeah, Express. She's girl. out here giving me some soy sauce. All right, you brought it out safely. Oh, yeah, yeah. It seems to be in very good condition. Almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Huh, very interesting. This may be the find of the century even. Oh. All right, Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People civilization. <laughs> what? I thought I'd only be helping you once. <laughs> of course, say no more. I really do not like this Cobra guy. Just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. I wish you would get bitten by a Cobra and die. That won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. All right, see you later. You couldn't just call me. He had to really just pull up in the boat. But he gave me olive oil again. What is it? Olive oil is like gold around these parts? I'm surprised he didn't give me like a packet of wasabi as a reward. But we got fried egg jellyfish. And no, the thumb is not up. I need to get more. Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurant. But I kind of wanted to get more fish for tonight. Like, I, I really have high expectations. Wow, it's looking very nice. <laughs> it doesn't matter how delicious the food is. The restaurant can be a mess. Ah, uh, if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open, so please check it. You can now freely change up the interior of Bancho Sushi. Use the interior tab to select the style to your liking. Ah, but as Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, bud. This area is kind of remote, so I think I will need a way to advertise the store until then. Mm. Yeah, these days, it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Mm. Ah, have you tried the social media app named Cooksta? You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Mm. Huh, even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Bancho? You have a point there. Making an account is simple, so let's try it out. You first register and make the hashtag, hashtag Bancho Sushi then. Done! Hmm, well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Now customers happy with your food will follow Bancho Sushi. Huh, I'm not sure about this, but okay. I got it. I'll also install the Cooksta app on my phone and check the followers' posts. Cool. So now we have something else that we can check. Raise your ratings in Cooksta. More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. The unlock conditions of new ratings can be seen in the Cooksta app. Let me actually check the Cooksta app real quick. I want to see what people are saying about Bancho Sushi. Uh, only Cobra said something. All right. Well, that's cute. Appreciate that. I'm not ready for this. This is actually my favorite part of the game. And I know, it's called Dave the Diver, and my favorite part is diving with Dave. <laughs> but this game is cool. It's not usually something that I normally play, but it is fun. And I am actually having fun learning about it. Oh, can I harpoon you? Hold on, do we eat dolphins? What are you trying to say? Oh, you talking shit, because I killed your fish friends. Huh? A dolphin? Huh. It seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try and follow? A dolphin's request? Are we serious? All right, go. Come on. Can I harpoon you? Bro, I don't even want to try. I don't want to make the dolphins mad. Oh! Oh, a pink dolphin is caught in the net. So it was asking me to rescue its friend. I should cut that net. There you go. Free to go. Do not give me soy sauce as a reward. I have enough. Yeah. I know. I hear you. Oh, they left me something. And then it's dolphin shit. <laughs> it's like pink sparkly dolphin shit. What is that? Huh. It seems to have left a gift. I didn't know dolphins had mates. But now you do. So what are you going to do with that information? A pearl. Nice. Let me get all these two. And let's just keep getting the fish, everybody. Because if we don't have any fish, what are we going to serve at Bancho Sushi? You know what I mean? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. What is that? That looks intimidating. I killed it, though. Oh! A red lion fish. Oh, I've seen one of those. 
I've seen one of those. Okay. Oh, uh, like in real life, I think. Unless red lionfish is made up, then I've never seen it in my life. Kill that bitch. Titan triggerfish. Okay, let me just keep getting these guys. Because I need sushi for tonight, everybody. Like, you don't even know. I'm trying to get a world record. I'm trying to get five stars on the Cooksta app. Uh. If you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry anymore. Okay, I'm good. I think I'm ready to go back and let's serve one more round of sushi before we end today's episode. Who the hell are you? Oh, I think she's like a health inspector. She got a clipboard and everything. What do you want? Looks around. Okay, I already sensed the evil when it just looks around. This is Bancho's sushi place, huh? Huh. Miss Yoshi, I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cooksta. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. Attack it turn, but masculine chef. Wow, do they mention me too? No, not really. <sighs> In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Oh, well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again? That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? Mm. To keep making that terrible food. What do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in cuisine in both West and the East. And in Korea, it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop! You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine then, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat! Bancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance, I feel that. Like when my pride kicks in, nothing can stop me. Please get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills, it should be easy enough to do. But a harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into battle. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Good luck. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head? This is preposterous. And it can only be killed with a gun? I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. Or search for one in the blue hole. Wow. If there's one thing I would never do, even just as a regular ass person, which I am, and not an expert diver, I would never ever go into the water at night. What? We got a one star, 3.2 down? What? Bro, I thought I was supposed to catch a shark head. What do you mean? Okay, maybe I was supposed to serve customers that day and then get a shark head the next day. I totally misread that situation. I'm so stupid. Hey, Dave! I've got the luckiest news. What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look happy. I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount of unknown substance was detected. I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. I went ahead and developed a radar to track those waves. Oh, and why is that news? Lucky? <laughs> Being coy today, are we? This radar is bound to come in useful on your next expedition. What do you mean, my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. Huh. I was given a contract with your name on it. The cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20. What? What in the world were you two talking about? Haha, <laughs> don't be so by the book. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. Huh. <sighs> Give it to me. I'll let you know if it works and no more. Yeah, I don't like the way everybody's treating Dave. Like, he's forced to go along for the ride. It's like his say doesn't matter. But yeah, we have to serve a whole roasted shark head. But what? Everybody uploaded a new post? Hold on, let me see. So, who the hell is this? Heard shots like this are the trend now. Okay, I left the like on that. Bacon doctor, a sea people artifact. What a lucky day. Gotta eat sushi on days like this. Okay, left the like on that. The sushi here is nice, but don't like the strange guy serving it though. Hey, don't be talking about Bancho like that. Let me just leave a like. You know, 
I'm the person that doesn't really care to like stuff, but I'll just like it anyway. Just so I won't cause any conflict. But let me dive right in, everybody. And let's go get this freaking shark head before I end this episode. I think the shark is going to be, like, deep, deep down. <gasps> oh, right there. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, oh, oh. Did I get him? I didn't get him. He's confused. Oh. Don't run away from me. Mm. How much health does this thing have? I am going to die a horrible death. I need to get some stabs in, bro. No, he only dies from gunshots, though. I got him. I got my first shark. Okay, let's collect them. There you go. Just chop them up. Put my name on it. And we have a white tip reef shark. All right. And that is a sharp Japanese sword. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Got it. Okay, let me collect some actual good fish, like this thing right here, because this made me good money on day two. Let's go serve up some good-ass sushi tonight. Wait, where's that lady at? Is she not here? What is research? Whole roasted shark head. The head of a white reef shark that's been deep fried whole. An artisan's flame will be used to research new menus. Okay. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> Research has been completed. Okay, so now we can add that to the menu. So let's see, add to the menu. Let's put a little bit of that shark head. Only one? Okay, well, we added that to the menu. And then let me just add the other stuff. Like, ones that are actually worth something. Because I need to make some money. That one's good, the lionfish one. Only one of those, okay. And then what about the rest? The hump head. Okay. Who doesn't love some good old hump head? And then I will add, I guess this one. Because this one looks kind of exotic. It's nice and blue. So there you go. I think we're good. Let's open up the restaurant. And here we go. Oh, there she is. She wants the shark head. Of course she does. And she came with the clipboard and her attitude. I love it. Here we go, everybody. Hopefully we don't mess this up for you, beautiful. Ugh, oh, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. <laughs> Dude, that is so awesome. How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is, is this ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. <clears throat> Pardon me. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit it, this is good. You pass, Bancho. Let me tell you why I'm here then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still mean to go it alone, Bancho? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. Definitely won't because Dave's already on his last legs just surfing one small plate of sushi. We need all the help we can get. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. She loved the sushi so much that she wants to hire employees so she can probably eat it some more and faster. Hiring employees to reduce the workload. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make cooking food faster. Ahem. Let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. So we need to open the employee menu, post a hiring notice, press the flyer to begin hiring. All right. And then we just wait. Hiring has begun. Good. The recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. And she's leaving. Have fun digesting that shark head because I'm pretty sure you are a satisfied customer. Watch this, everybody. Skills that pay the bills. Got him. That is so perfect. That is so yummy and juicy and tender and all the above. Let me give you some of this blue shit. That good shit. Here you go, everybody. 
Bam. I know the order. I know who came first. First come, first serve type stuff. So let me give you that. And let me actually beat this wasabi. Like it owes me money. Look at that. Oh. Uh, wait, somebody else wants shark head? Do I actually have enough? I thought I only had enough shark head for one person. But here you go. Shark head for you. And that lady looks sad, so I need to hurry up. Here you go. Oh. Uh, I think we're doing great. We've already made like 500 bucks. And this isn't bad, is it? Wait, I don't get it. How come some people are mad? Well, let's see how we did today. We did 7 out of 10 thumbs up. I don't understand what we did wrong. Five stars today. Let's freaking go. And the whole roasted shark head was uh, the top dog today. It was the catch of the day. All right, everybody. I'm going to end Dave the Diver here. I don't know if I'm going to be playing this for another episode. I want people to genuinely tell me what they thought about this in the comments. Specifically, my playthrough of it. Do you want to see more? Is this interesting enough for you to buy yourselves? What do you think about the game as a whole? Like, let me know what you thought about this game. If you do want to see more, though, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.